why there is no microphone. Sami Zayn is out of the bloodline. Why Brock Lesnar is back? A lot of misleading titles, only two, but I'm gonna explain, don't worry. Pro 30 was a show like any other. That's not true. It was, uh, it was a cool show. The special thing about it is, is that we saw a lot of legends. We saw Hulk Hogan, we saw The Undertaker, we saw DX, MVP. He's not retired. Oh. Anyway, the show started with the, the Sami Zayn and the Bloodline. It was really emotional, I don't know, but uh, basically Paul Heyman went full on against Sami and he was like, I have evidence that Sami Zayn is shit, and he played that evidence. Uh, Sami was like, I'm really disappointed, it's really heartbreaking that your guy is turning on me, and he was like, I'm not gonna even defend myself. Roman Reigns got mad because he, Sami didn't want to defend himself and his eyes that was disrespectful, so he said to Solo Sikoa to finish this and right before Solo delivered the Simone Spike, Jay stopped him and it was really emotional because Jay did like a whole presentation, like did uh, six videos of defenses or something like that and he defended Sammy and you, you can actually see out there that Sammy almost cried and it was really cool. And basically Roman said that Sami is okay for now and on the Royal Rumble he's gonna prove if he's in the bloodline or not. So I'm waiting for the Rumble, what's gonna happen? I feel like Sami is gonna flip up hard there, but we're gonna see. After that, another Sami thing, but you should wait until I tell you what exactly is that thing. The USOs versus Judgment Day. Last week I told you that this, this week it was great. So many moments that you were thinking that Judgment Day is gonna win, Uso is gonna win, Judgment Day is gonna win. Jimmy decided to jump from the top row to attack Damien, I think, and he flipped up his knee. So Adam Pierce came out and he was like, if Jimmy can't continue, we should stop the match and give the titles to the Judgment Day. And then Sammy was out there, he was like, I'm gonna replace Jimmy. He replaced Jimmy and he retained. That was awesome, that was amazing, that was really cool. Up! Oh, we're not doing ups and downs here. I don't know. <laughs> hey, chill! We're not doing ups and downs here. Wow. Stop yelling at me, wow. Another cool moment that we saw, we saw Undertaker. I was wondering what kind of context the Undertaker is gonna fit in, but it was great. He fitted in the LA Knight vs Bray Wyatt story. And it was, oh my gosh. First of all, I cried when I heard the Undertaker team. I cried when I heard his badass team. He went to the ring, he was about to beat LA Knight, and then I was about to go away. Bray Wyatt went out. He was like, no, you're not going anywhere. LA Knight came back to the ring. Undertaker uh, was about to deliver a choke slam, but Bray, Bray Wyatt came into the ring as well. And basically Undertaker passed LA Knight to Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt just used his finisher on LA Knight. And the awesome moment was when Undertaker whispered something into Bray's ear. And you, you, you could see out there the OG is passing the torch to the genius, to the nowadays genius. It was, oh, it was so good. Another disappointing thing was that uh, the cage match, uh, steel cage match that uh, we were waiting for a whole week, it didn't happen. For some reason, uh, the WWE decided to cancel it basically, because right before it started, Becky got attacked by the tag team champions. They locked Becky inside and beat her up and basically the match never started. I don't know why they canceled that idea at all. Before I move to the last part with Brock Lesnar, I want to talk about something that I talked about in the previous episode, aka Sonya Deville, Charlotte Flair. I really liked the fact that Sonya Deville was on the show, but I feel like we should have done this differently. A sneak attack on both with chairs, would have cut it for me or at least should have picked a victory against Bianca. That would have given her enough leverage to chase after the Charlotte's belt. Now we are seeing that Sonya Deville character that is just whining about championships and she's, an, she's not really a threat to anyone. So I give you an idea that way that we just go and deliver it. 
We saw the exit and uh, a little funny segment where Triple H was like, guys, the, that booking shtick is not easy. I see you, I appreciate you. Last but not least, Brock Lesnar is back, baby. And to be fair with you, that is the best possible story for Bobby Lashley. It can't be any better, you know? It can't be any better. Because what if Bobby Lashley wins? Nothing really. What if Bobby Lashley lost? Nothing really. But Brock Lesnar coming back, revisiting that feud that was scuffed. And I'm really excited to finish that story. The match necessarily is not for my taste, but they're, they're, they're completing each other. They're completing each other. The, the best moment from their feud was when Brock Lesnar was Bobby who? Bobby! <laughs> oh, amazing! When I said best moment, the best moment from Raw is again from Triple H. Any one of you is gonna do something about it. I'm retired, dude. Yeah, basically Imperium went out when DX was out and they were like, we're gonna fight you and each of the DX members were like, oh, we are retired. But I like the, the, the Triple H part probably because he was first. The match itself was between Imperium, Seth Rollins and Street Profits. Nothing too excited really, nothing story building there. So that's why I kind of skipped it. Yeah, that's it uh, basically for uh, Raw 30. A nostalgia trip, nothing too special, it was just just a nostalgia trip, yeah. I'm a little bit ashamed of myself to, to call myself a wrestling fan, but hey, I, I just started watching late. I just started watching around 2000s and uh, I had a gap of 10 years after that and I didn't really understand what was happening. So who can blame me? No one. But you receive a down. You. Yeah, you. Not the show, not me. You receive a down. I don't know why. I like you, I really love you, but you receive a down for the day because you were naughty. Stop, stop watching me like that. Make them stop, okay? Make them stop. Otherwise, I'll do 